What's up, everybody? Uh, this is Alex, and I wanted to do um, some fight breakdowns. And uh, I wanted to start with a classic fight. Um, actually, I was watching this live, I believe, on Fuller Grappling or whoever was streaming it at the time. And this was one of the most exciting fights. These guys are both um, featherweight legends. You know, Hafa Mendes on the right and the blue, Corbini on the left and the white. Uh, both are multiple time world champions in the Gi, and also both are ADCC champions. So both uh, started with a very low stance. Um, both looked like they wanted to pull for a second, but um, Hoffa took the bottom position first. He's playing a, a distance open guard, right away going to De La Hiva. Uh, Cobrini on top is looking to control his pants. Cobrini is, has, is notorious as a really, really strong guard passer. He's, you know, both guys are obviously very well rounded, but uh, Cobrini is, is known for his passing. So Hoffa right away, he's uh, op he opened up the lapel. And he's using a De La Hiva and lapel grip that later he's going to use um, to off-balance Cobrinha, as we're going to watch. Um, one interesting thing to, to note is in one of their first matches, maybe even their first match, um, Hafa Mendes was using deep half guard and he was using you know different forms of half guard to, to uh, play against Cobrinha. And Cobrinha was able to actually pass him off of that and beat him. And uh, since then, Hafa said that he... Uh, he stopped playing uh, deep half guard and stopped playing anything without distance. So he, uh, since then, he started using De La Hiva and open guards to find the distance against Corbinho. So the first thing that I want to note is the switch of the grip. So as you can see, what happened was um, Hafa had the grip with his right hand. Now he, as soon as Corbinho lowered his base, Hafa switched the grip with, uh, into his left. Now he's going to use his left forearm to turn Corbinia's knee outward because Corbinia wants to turn his knee, uh, sorry, he wants to turn his knee inward because Corbinia wants to turn his knee outward to kill the De La Hiva hook and to kill that pressure. Let's keep watching. So now he has that lapel, he has a De La Hiva hook. It's going to be very hard for Corbinia to turn this around. Corbinia looks to be controlling the outside pant leg, maybe for leg drags and just to stop Hoffa from spinning underneath him. Corbinia has an extremely, extremely good base. Um, unfortunately, the referee is blocking our view a little bit, but we can still see a lot of action going on. So let's see the progression of what's going to happen. Corbina is keeping a low base, and uh, for Corbina not to run away, what Hoff is doing is he's using his right hand to control his belt. He's controlling his hips by using that grip. So Corbina feels pretty, pretty stuck right, right around this point. And Hoffa has a pretty nice distance. Cobrinha is too far away from him to make any lapel uh, grips that would be effective. Can't really grab the head. And uh, it's a pretty, pretty uh, strong position for Hoffa. So now, there was a, that was a very, very important moment. A couple of seconds ago, what Hoffa is going to do is he's going to take his left leg and he's going to do an egg beater and pummel behind Cobrinha's leg. What this is going to do is this is going to bring Cobrinha's leg from Hoffa's right hip to his left hip. And that's what's gonna cause, it's gonna set up the sweep um, to come. So let's watch that. So watch Hoffa's left leg. He swims it right behind Cobrinha's. Now he's threatening Cobrinha's back and Cobrinha really lengthens his base. And now Cobrinha's left leg ends up on Hoffa's left hip. So now Hoffa has all of his limbs threatening Cobrinha's back. Notice this grip right over here on the pants. He uses that grip to try to off-balance Corbinia and try to sweep him over to his right. But that's going to be a little bit difficult, so he's going to end up later using his leg to do so, as we're going to see in about uh, 30 seconds or so. To me, unfortunately, you know, uh, both Corbinia and Hafa Mendes, since they haven't been active in the past year or so, um, not a lot of people talk about them anymore and you know a lot of people may not even know who they are but uh, to me and to many others these guys are both uh, inspirations and the, some of the greatest fighters uh, you know to ever fight and uh, they're still relatively young and building up their schools and um, their students are seeing a lot of success um, on the international circuit as well so now let's watch what's gonna happen so uh, Hoffa, he's going to try to keep sweeping Cobrinha over to his right. And Cobrinha is just keeping a wide base. He has a you know grip right here, over here on the pants. 
and uh, you know Cobrina right right away here is behind because he uh, his back is being threatened at all times. Hafa could also put him into 50-50 anytime. So now, at this moment, before um, Hafa was trying to use his hand uh, to off-balance Cobrinha to his right, and that was uh, pretty difficult. So now he waited for the opportunity to create the space to use his foot right over here to knock Cobrinha over. From here, Hafa is going to come up. And as soon as he comes up, you can see that actually he has both feet up right over here. So what he's going to now do is, so that he does not get put into 50-50 or single X or any other attacks, uh, he's going to put this left knee of his on the floor. And as he puts it on the floor, he's now bringing his head across. As he's bringing his head across, what Corbina does is he overextends his arm. So if we go back two seconds, right over here, as Hoffa is trying to use his head to pressure inward this way across Corbina's ear, Corbina is framing and pushing Hoffa away to try to create that space. Corbina is potentially trying to egg beater his leg inside to start to go for a single X, to start to, to uh, make some space and to counter Hoffa to put him in a guard. And Hoffa is going to now use that huge opportunity to bring his knee on the inside and go straight for the arm lock. Boom! He throws both hands over and right away he gets a grip on the wrist, starts to extend. Uh, Corbina's arm looks to be already hyperextended here. You know, there's a lot of pressure going on on Hoffa, on uh, Corbina. And, uh, but he is, you know, one of the toughest, toughest fighters, you know, to ever step foot on the mats. And, you know, he taps in the very last second. And, you know, this was really crazy because to see an arm bar like this at uh, the final of the World Championships was unbelievable. You know, a lot of fights are, are you, know, you know, very, very narrow. Um, and, you know, to see something like this, a sweep into a guard pass on his armbar was phenomenal. Um, so this is the first fight breakdown that I'm going to do. Um, hopefully I get to improve a little bit uh, with some time. Uh, let me know if you have any suggestions or if you would like any other fights to, to be broken down. Thank you guys very much.